Let me tell you something. You think, uh, you think, you think, uh, what, I got, oh, fuck, there's a lot of the, I hate it when I do this. Do what? I forgot to hit record on the, um, the phone input, so. So restart it. No, I'm too tired. But there's not going to be, we're not going to be able to go to this, the phone today. That's okay, man. Yeah. I love first time callers. I love I'll hang up and listen, guys. We got that, though. And we got that, folks. It's come Folks, town. it's motherfucking come town. It's come town going on six years now. Really? Yeah. Bright eyed and bushy tailed young men get together. They start what <sighs> some folks refer to as the fucking Rolling Stones of podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And now, like the Rolling Stones themselves, they're gay. They're gay. Yeah. They've become gay. <laughs> There's Charlie. Charlie. Cho- the Chocolate Factory. Yep. Charlie Ebdo. Charlie Ebdo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Of yeah. course. You say, why don't you pronounce the H? And that's because H stands for, uh, here comes a couple of Muslim guys. <laughs> Into the building. <laughs> Is that what it stands for? It yeah. stands for, here comes a couple of uh, uh, hajibs. Really? Uh, hajibs looking to uh, put some holes in your head with heavy machine gun fire. <laughs> really? I had no and idea. Then, that's what the, the H in Charlie Hebdo stands for. Wow. That really was kind of the, that was like the death of comedy, I think. Mm-hmm. When those Muslims uh, couldn't take a joke. Well, that's the world saw what <laughs> the world saw what happened to Charlie Hebdo, and they said, "You know what? These guys are right. Now we're going comedy mm-hmm. that's uh, fully respectful of all people. Yeah, just to avert a crisis like this. Yeah. Just so we don't get got. Yeah, that's just so we don't get got. The Ted Lasso effect. Well, because you imagine if Charlie Hebdo what didn't happen. Here's what happened three mm-hmm. years ago. Shane Gillis gets SNL. Mm -hmm. Two weeks later, Bo and Yang cuts his head off with a samurai sword. I don't (laughs) think that's what would have happened, (laughs) personally. I'm telling you, because we learned our lesson. Mm -hmm. I really don't see that happening. Him being like, hi (laughs) (laughs) Fucking Shane's head's like, hey, you you cut my head off? And he's just rolling down the Yeah. Rolling down the stairs. Yeah. All, yeah the way, all the way back to the cheese factory that fucking retard crawled out of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think probably he wouldn't have been killed. Yeah. But I don't know. Shane? Yeah. Yeah. But he would have been martyred, and we would have all re- remembered. <laughs> it an- doesn't seem like a murderer to me. <laughs> Shane, we would have all learned an important lesson. Mm-hmm. That's true. Yeah, Shane would have been... If he would have been killed, we would have learned an important lesson. I think mm-hmm. that's true. How about uh, Martyr Lawrence? And uh, <laughs> fucking Charlie Hebdo does the cartoon, and he's like, Oh, hell nah. <laughs> and then he blows himself Yeah, up. then he does the suicide <laughs> puts him there, I'm going to get my vest, and I'm going to blow myself up. <laughs> How many of those French Martyr motherfuckers Martyr. did they get? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Who gives a shit? They did a shooting? Yeah. Well, had that seems like it was 40 years ago. And they they ma- they drew they basically drew Muhammad when he had a big dick nose. Those guys, everything they did had a big dick nose. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's just how French cartoons look. I love the way they draw women, too, because the French women are disgusting. So they have those, like, the, their bodies are, they have horrible posture and, like, they're mostly fupa. Mm-hmm. And then, like, mix, like, big miss chokes on dick tits. Mm. <laughs> and then that kind of, like, frog head. You know what I'm talking about. They're, like, yeah, French style of bitch. Yeah, where they kind of, and then they walk and they're, like, they just sort of flop. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like Cruella. Except with a fupa. Corella, but with big fat fucked Corella up tits. Corella Fupaville. Mm-hmm. Oh, that sounds horrible. Mm-hmm. That's not the type of lady I'd want to have sex with. Yeah, I saw a lot of ugly ladies this weekend in Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Gashville, nasty Gashville. That's it's what they call the, it. It is quite possibly the fat girl destination of America. Did you go to Dollywood? No, that's the, that's we apparently the, very me far and, me far and, away. Me and Adam were on the phone doing a little bit about Dollywood. Oh yeah, that was pretty good. And it's a guy, an Italian guy, trying to remember the name of 
Bollywood. Yeah. Really? And he's like, what are they? The dot heads, they got their own Hollywood. What are they called? What is it called over there? It's called Dollywood. Dollywood. Right? Dollywood. Yeah, like, dot head Hollywood. I think it's Bollywood. And he's like, nah, it doesn't make any sense. Nah, why sense. would it be called that? <laughs> it's dot head Hollywood. It's Dollywood. Isn't it? Dollywood. Look, I'll Google it right now. You pull it up. <laughs> Dollywood, right there. The, the first day, first result is called Dollywood. Uh, yeah, but this, there's no Indian people. Yeah, yeah, come on. What are you doing? Clicking on stuff. <laughs> it's fucking down, down at Hollywood. They got this in Nashville. They have these like mm -hmm. tractors that pull fat women around. Nice. And they like get drunk in like the wagon mm -hmm. and listen to like Lil John Get Low. Imagine, and, like, yeah. dance Look, disgustingly. Yeah, people say the South is back. Yeah. Well, imagine that's what you have as women is a hog being drug, dragged through mud by a truck, blasting Lil John. And then <laughs> people are like, well, these. These we just need to have respect for these women. Mm, yeah, that's mm -hmm. true. And you'd be like, "Well, what in the darn, what in tarnation, what, what in the what in the same, what in good fuck ass <laughs> shit is this?" <laughs> and you would say no. You would say no. Yeah. You'd say no. I, the, those are the fuck hogs that we the, pull around on a wagon. Yeah. Pull, and on top of that, to, to test the to test how mighty the the, uh, the track there can be. Yeah. <laughs> My family didn't even own slaves. Mm. You know, we moved here from mm -hmm. New Jersey when I was in fifth grade. Right. So. Not my problem. Not my damn problem. <laughs> Mike, I was telling Mike I wanted to rent one of those tractors and just have the two of us silently <laughs> looking at our phones while we have them play Patrice O'Neill Destroys Feminism. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, teach them That's the what lesson. you should do for your bachelor party. That's what I should do. Just me and Mike Rosine on a wagon. <laughs> on a wagon in Nashville. <laughs> People love people. Yeah, it's it's honestly I didn't realize it, but it's it is, it's like if you want to go to New Orleans, but you don't want as many jazz style people around. Look at this. Know? This is funny. So I'm you don't want to, It's like a no black people New Orleans. Mm, I'm, looking yeah. at, I'm looking at my calendar to see what the reads are, and October 11th is listed as Columbus Day and Indigenous Peoples Day. Because mm. Google Calendar can't mm -hmm. can, wants it both ways. Yeah, it's like pick a side, Chief. Yeah, yeah pick a side. Um, you're either with us or you're against us. I'm trying to play it. Trying to play it. You know, whatever the word is. What? But I don't know. So you had a nice time in Nashville, Adam. Yeah, it's nice. Show me, show me hole. Just a game we play. What I want to say <clears throat> is let me blow you. Um, what else? Is, have you watched many Saints of Newark? Oh, uh, yes, I did. But I, I seem to recall in the last premium episode, you had some revelations while you were in Nashville. What was that? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, I don't oh. want to relitigate that. Oh, I, oh I my God. Is this classic Adam or what? You know what? It's spastic he Adam. He says it's some Adam, bullshit. Adam classic. He says some bullshit at I'm the just end of say, the fucking premium episode. I'm just going to say. We, we promise everyone we're going to litigate it in kind. Okay, let's litigate one. it. And listen, I know that my opinions are fully formed by popular opinion. Uh, Popular opinion, you know. Yeah. That band I always fully formed faggots. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the, the, fr the fully formed. I really. Friedland I faggots. might start a music project called "They Might Be Faggots." <laughs> <laughs> I never had to suck on wood. That is a good name, honestly. Yeah. They might be faggots. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, that's a mighty mighty boss. Yeah, you're thinking of mighty yeah. mighty faggots. Yeah, the mighty mighty <laughs> faggots. <laughs> Uh, Those are both good names. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. just gonna say a couple of people walked up or to me. Imagine faggots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. another really good one. Well, that my brain doesn't the even faggots, go there. The faggots of Leon. Yeah, that's pretty, are we gonna? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's cool because it sounds like a guy named Leon and has a lot of twinks around. Yeah. That's the fuck. The back, a harem of the back twinks. Street faggots. Yeah, yeah. that works that's, well. That that was basically. Yeah. Uh, what was the guy's name? The big fat guy, Lou Perlman. Yeah. Lou Perlman. Yeah. In sync, but it's. <laughs> <laughs> it's mm. uh, faggots? They tell you what the end stands for. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. It'd so be like an In Sync album, the first In Sync album. Yeah. And, uh, and then the cover is like a black guy, right? And he's standing there, kind of like, you know, like arms akimbo with his legs out, and there's like a. Lightning cable going mm -hmm. into his like groin area, and then that one's hooked up to a like a PC. <laughs> and then on the screen of the PC, it says sinking. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, what is the album art? And they're like, we gave it to this guy with a podcast and said, 
you know, just do just whatever, let her rip. whatever you come up with. Yeah, and that's what he came. That's what he went with. I would love to charge my balls. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that would be cool. But what is sinking? What is the? Oh, I see. I see what yeah, you yeah. do. Yeah, yeah. See, I, I'm. I try and block out the racism and just think about how cool it would be to charge your cock. Yeah, yeah. Think yeah. about that. <laughs> you couldn't even have to hump. Your dick would go back and forth on its mm-hmm. own. And you'd finally have an excuse. Well, when like a, a little piston. When a, bu- when a bitch too horny, you could be like, listen, nope. I'm on 1% right like, now. 1% whore. Who's a headline a couple weeks ago. <laughs> listen, bitch. Because <laughs> the Kings of Leon's mom died, mm-hmm. which I didn't realize. Well, they were all brothers? I guess. So they all had one mom. Wow. They shared a mom. It was a funny way to word that headline. Yeah. Mumford. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The mother of the kings of Leon. <laughs> mm-hmm. The kingdom of Leon weeps yeah. as its queen mother fucking died. Mm-hmm. The Mumford and Sons were the guy, the Mumford guy was all was their father. Is that true? Yeah. He's the older dad. <laughs> and they all they all have to call him dad. Daddy. Daddy. What's the next song? Dude, that band is so I looks like one of the worst. You like fucking <laughs> ass my sweet cock. It's crazy how popular that shit was. That, hey! That was a real genre for a while. Yeah, like a lot civil of Civil War just music. Just screaming. Hey! <laughs> Stomping on shit. Boom. Yeah, yeah. Like fucking, yeah. The well, people that made all those breweries with Edison bulbs everywhere, they needed some. Yeah. yeah. Well, to. American folk music is fake. It doesn't exist. Was, really? Yeah, it was a thing that they just created in the 60s. Yeah, and, and Jews started pretending. Right, Somebody exactly. You might know what he meant about. Started pretending. Well, they about. just stole it. They didn't come up with it. They created it. It's yeah, like, they faked uh, it. It's like, uh, I belong it's to like all the Disney movies, you know, like the 101 Dalmatians and you know, Beauty and the Beast and stuff. That's all just fucking made up. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. Know. Half yeah. that shit's just fucking drawings. Mm-hmm. They're not even real people. That is so true. The Jungle Book is real, though. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I wish, man. That I, happened. The, the biggest regret in my life is there's just like spiritual search inside my own memory and head. I've been like wandering around in like that matrix, like loading area forever, trying to remember the context and details of the story in which I heard in my life where a manager at, like, a Papa John's was fired for calling an Indian kid Mowgli. <laughs> and I can't remember who told me the story hmm. or how it went down, but that is that remains one of the funniest things I've ever heard in my life. That is an awesome Is thing. a boss repeatedly calling an Indian teenager that works there Mowgli. You know, until, but you say that yeah. in 2006 or 5 or whatever. Fine. I, was I I a hundred percent could see that happening. Of course, oh, yeah. Without even, with yeah. no question. And then whatsoever. being shocked when it's like you know, the kid has like a fucking a hundred million dollar lawsuit. Yeah, yeah. Him. Being like, what? It was yeah. a fun nickname. Yeah. It, th- we have fun in the office, and you know where else we'll be having fun is in Cleveland, Ohio, this weekend, folks. Where I will be at Hilarities from the seventh to the ninth, mm-hmm. and also Phoenix, Arizona. I'll be at the House of Comedy. Uh, in Phoenix, the 14th to the 16th, and I'll be in Madison, uh, the 21st through the 23rd. I also... Fadison. Not Fadison. Mm-hmm. There'll also be a Pantheon in New York City on October 13th with uh, Nori Davis, Joe Firestone, Dan Licata, <coughs> Dina Hashem, and I think I'm going to do a show as uh, part of the Dan, New York Comedy Festival. Dan Chocolata. <laughs> yeah. Dan Licata. Dan Chocolata. What were the other ones? Joe Firestone. And, uh, Nori, but it's like the... Lucy, Sushi. 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 Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Nori Davis. Uh, who, who else is on? Dina Hashem. Dina Hashem. Dina Hash yeah. Browns. Dina Hash Browns, yeah. <laughs> um, who else? Joe Firestone. Firestone. Joe Firestone. Um, Joe. Joe Hot. Cup of Joe. Cup of Joe. Well, that's not really a fat thing. <laughs> With chocolate. With chocolate. <laughs> and, and 10 sugars. What about Joe yeah. Fire? Um, Joe, Joe. Fire. What's the pizza? Is yeah, yeah. Fire is saying brick Joe, brick, brick oven, oven pizza. pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little. Yeah, yeah, wood, fire. Fire. wood fire. Wood fire. Wood fire pizza. Yeah. Wood fire stone. Joe Wood fire stone. Joe pizza. Brick oven pizza. Joe <laughs> Brick oven pizza coming yeah. from Firestone yeah. to Brick oven yeah. pizza. Pizza. And it's fl- uh, Flantheon. Flantheon. Flantheon will be on October 13th before I leave for Phoenix. I'm a fucking little busy slut for you fuckers. I have to, I have to, I do that show and then I get on a 7 a.m. flight to Phoenix because all the flights to Phoenix were dog shit. Hardest working man in the show, biz. Mm-hmm. I'm the fucking James Brown of comedy. That's right. Wow! 
You have a lot of this I thing. suck tits, ba da 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 da. And then I bust nuts, and ba da 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 da. That's me. That's, he's one of the I best. I can't get yeah. hard, ba da 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 da. But can I beat off while I suck on your tits, ba da da I'm fat. My dick don't work. Too fat to have sex, ba 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 ba. Nah, I suck. My dick's been working kind of nice recently, ladies, so. I think I've only... You're on a good streak. Let me think. Not me. The last 10 sexual encounters, I think I've only had one problem with my cock. Wow. Mm. It's like one of those, like, uh, You're 10, batting day, 10 days since an accident at the factory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have a fucking dry erase board I take with, with me to every hotel. Yeah. Yeah, don't count your wins. Just get ready for the next L. <laughs> mm. Dry erase board is how you describe the woman during and after sex with uh, Stavros. Mm-hmm. There's what? commas in between those. Dry. What about er- erase? Doesn't even make sense. Well, <laughs> I'll give you dry and board. <laughs> Well, a race. She's a. She yeah, is, she I is guess a so race. I suppose. Type of race. <laughs> well, what if she's mixed race? Uh, and then she'd be at least well, two. Well, she's a race. mixed so race. Saying, you have never earned mixed race pussy. I've got mixed race pussy before. You've thank you. have never earned much. it. No. Yes, I have. You've no. taken it, but you've I've never. never I, I've not taken any pussy. Thank you very much. You I got, have earned it. You, you got to take it. I'm it. not on my Cosby shit. I don't take pussy. Yeah. Yeah. I get pussy. Thank you very much. Right. You're like Bill Cosby if he raped the Jello. <laughs> I did commercials about women. Yeah. <laughs> did, did, did commercials about whores. Yeah, you know what? There's but nothing that, wrong with raping Jello. Secret, Thank you very secretly, much. Secretly, he's stealing a bunch of Jello. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with putting your dick in pudding. Pudding yeah. can, is an inanimate object. They're calling him Reverse Bill Cosby, <laughs> <laughs> fat man who's white. <laughs> Making commercials about <laughs> women and secretly stealing jello. <laughs> are they calling him that? Yes, they what are. What kind of commercial? Like just for women? I guess. Yeah, like for, women. No, it's a commercial for, for pussy. Drugging it's women. pretty cool. <laughs> David Scorpion, Channel 4 News. <laughs> Put that pussy to sleep. Put that pussy to sleep. I'm selling. Yeah, I'm selling a Spanish fly. Mm-hmm. No, what I'll be selling is laughs at Cleveland Phoenix Madison. Wow! And uh, I think on the tenth, I really? think I'm gonna you're do... just going to use the podcast to promote your shows. Yeah, that's the whole po- reason we started this podcast six years yeah, ago. Yeah, well, maybe we should have a fight about it. <laughs> so, <you> know, <laughs> maybe we should have a big on-air spat for uh, uh, <clears throat> forty-three minutes. Maybe how well. dare you? <laughs> How dare you promote shows when you know I'm too lazy to book anything like that? <laughs> it's true. It's pretty rude. I'm and sorry, I, man. And, not, and, this, and knowing that the t-shirt company isn't even paying me the money they owe me anymore. You want me to go talk to them, dude? No, it's not worth it. You want me to go fucking crack some heads? Nah, they're a bunch of... I mean, they got their own problems. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, they all live in... They got a lot they of problems. They live in Albany. That company's not doing well. It's an Albany. They know how much money I make. I can't mm-hmm. be like, "Where's the fucking fourteen thousand dollars you owe me?" Yes, you can. That's a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, but I feel bad for them. They miss Cuomo. Yeah, Albany is really sad now. I'm telling you, this. Oh, they got this, Hochul over this there. This Hochul bitch is just pussy. is just Cuomo. You think what it's a him? severe looking woman? I think she looks like a regular bitch. No, she looks like someone's. She looks like a scary aunt. She looks like one of the James and the Giant Peach aunts. Oh yeah. Yeah, she does. I see what you're saying. She's got fucked up eyes. Mm-hmm. They're scaring me. I'm peering into them. And she has big teeth. Yeah. But she probably, 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 bad. I feel like we did this actually. I, I feel like I looked up young Kathy Hochul. You know, you really, yeah, we decided I whether you, or not we'd fuck the governor of New <laughs> yeah. York. You, you often over, over, do you, I feel like you give too much credit to some of the, especially some of the stuff the old, we've done in the past. No, the older women. No, you mm. put too many in the yes category. By yeah. virtue of them earning something by being old, and I, I don't well, they might be experienced. Hochul might have sucked good dick from back. She might have, mm-hmm. t- you know, you know how. By that of- logic, you should be having sex with old men as well. <laughs> no, not at they've all. Learned a lot because they've. Okay, been- here's what I'm saying. Remember, you know how when because of global warming, yeah. the ice melts and like new diseases we don't have any fucking antibodies for get like, you know released into the air. 
well, what if you fuck an old bitch and it's like that? And dick sucking techniques from that we've lost to, have been lost to history for generations. You unleash them that way. Mm-hmm. Is that you, have you guys ever even fucking considered that? You're saying it's frozen in her mouth. Yeah, her mouth. And you're unlocking. I'm thawing it with my fat little nuts. Yeah. But what if what yeah. if you release a virus that's been uh, in her mouth, an STD that's been out of commission for fifty years? Mm. Well, that's you the can't fucking... fuck with nature, stop, dude. Bro. That's the other side of the sword. You can't fuck with nature. That's the flip side of the sword. That's the it? other side of the sword. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. It we is. can't fuck with the balance of nature. Sometimes you have to, though. Yeah, that's true. To really, you know, there's no re- you can't get reward without a risk. That's true. So maybe I get my nuts sucked in a way that we haven't known about in fucking eons, but maybe I let go of super chlamydia from the fucking, you know, 1940s Mm -hmm. before fucking, before we had penicillin. I tell you, Doc, my dick's about to fall off. My shit is burning, Doc. Doc, I got sores all over my penis. You think it's because I fucked a Chinese lady, Doc? I think it's from all that offshore pussy I was getting (laughs) back in the Navy. Listen, Doc, I've got bad news. I've made my dick sore from rape. <laughs> oh, here's a couple of aspirin. I've, I've had, I've, well, here's, here's uh, 10 pills of heroin <laughs> and some child pornography. <laughs> Now, Government uh, issued child <laughs> pornography. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Make sure you don't smoke any marijuana or have gay sex. <laughs> while you're out there. And if you do have gay sex, you have to do it with a wink, and then you're allowed a job in the entertainment industry. <laughs> we still have a place for you, but you have to be coy about it. <laughs> That's the funniest part about homophobia is that it was like, really, it was sort of this, you know, because it's like, at no point in history were they like, well, it's not that there's not going to be gay people. Right. Like, no one ever believed <laughs> yeah. that we can get down to zero. Yeah, like, no one ever thought yeah. that they were like, well, of course there's going to be gay people. Yeah, we got retards. We got people with, Just, you know, <laughs> that limp everywhere. Yeah. So clearly, You're going to have a couple homos. I know, intellectually, it's not a choice, but you have to hate somebody in society. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And we don't have vaccines yet. <laughs> So why not? Why not these guys? And as but as long as they knew to be entertaining mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and funny, yeah, and, uh, self- and they have hate their, themselves. Yeah. Well, their no, little even, secrets. Even in like nineteen ten, you could make like a children's movie that's like, boy, I'd love to suck on a man's something, wink, <laughs> and singing and dancing and sucking the a little bit of cream out of a, another guy's. Um, you know, like, <laughs> just have to pretend like you know. They're like, no, that guy's just happy. He's no. just a song and He's dance just, man. Him and his friends uh, hate. They just don't want to be tied yeah. down by women. I could never find a girl for me unless she had a fucking C O C. Whoops. C O C C O. Okay. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got hello. That kind of shit. You'll yeah. go straight to hello, everybody. Uh, yeah. I know the audience is begging for a Cock. commercial break. Yeah. yeah. A little respite from all this riffing. Yeah, we've done too much riffing here. Blue, <coughs> blue chew. Though. Uh-oh. Blue chew. Folks, and I'll say this. You know, why am I, why am I batting 9 out of 10 on my last sexual encounters? Mm-hmm. It's because... On the days that I know my dick is lacking, I let science take over. It's true. I trust the science. I trust Sub, the science. Sub's actually mm-hmm. been taking a new product they offer called Moo Chew. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? That uh, yeah, if you're if you're somebody that happens to have four stomachs. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Uh, well, I have one. It's sort of a bovine. Uh, what do they have in it? Uh, Salatophil or Dodonophil. Dodon- is it beef jerky that gets L- your dick hard? Yeah, it's Ladonophil or ch- Ladonophil. Ch- Chinazophil. I'm about to fucking fill up a bitch named Ladonna yeah. with yeah. my dick. A little Belladonna. Belladonna, wasn't that that buck tooth lady that got yeah. baseball bats put up her ass? She she used to go hard in the paint. She really yeah. did, dude. She, <laughs> da, 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 was she da, like, I did it all the time. She, Belladonna was her hero. She That's was, awesome. Yeah, yeah. The porn star? The porn star. I got my dick sucked by a girl who said um, <sighs> Christy Mack was her hero. Yeah. Wow. And I will say, 
She was good at sucking That's the tattoo have, bitch She had like half a shaved head She's yeah. hot Christy Mack's very hot We would have dumb heroes yeah. We should have heroes like Abraham Lincoln Or yeah, Winston yeah. Barty And Nick, Nick loves Abraham Lincoln Because he got his f- thighs fucked by his friend uh, What? I That's think you're, you like th- you're thinking of uh, Socrates. No, is, I'm not at yeah, all. You're thinking you of Abraham Lincoln got his thighs fucked by his friend in his little log cabin. No, you're thinking he about was th- gay as hell. One of your guys. We were gay, but for and we did, made no bones about it. Thank you very much. <laughs> you fucking, you you're fucking, gay. you're yeah. gay for for yeah, kids. It sounds like you made no bones about the women you've been seeing either. Yes, I did. No, I mean, said nine, nine out of ten, ten bones. bones. Yeah. And that's thanks in large part to the our friends at BlueChew.com. With the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. Mm-hmm. To Dalafil, Sedenafil. And you know what? I used to be an active ingredients in Cialis guy. Now you're Viagra. I switched over to Viagra just a little spice of life. Mm-hmm. Well, but that's, a, that's just, for the, just for the fuck, but not for like the 36 hours. Right. They each have separate. Yeah, and I think maybe that has a lot to do with not having a girlfriend where <laughs> mm-hmm. now it's like, you know, I know I'm going to fuck. It's like, well, why don't mm-hmm. I pop a little blue? A little mm-hmm. blue or, I'm sorry. The move why don't is, I have a little chewable tablet? Yeah, why don't I have the, a chewable? The move is uh, from Blue Chew. You invite com. somebody over, you take the Blue Chew, and then when they buzz your apartment, you're like, boo, you like talk, you're like, who is it? They're like it's the girl from uh, Club Penguin. That mm-hmm. you- <laughs> from Club <Yeah>. Penguin, no. <laughs> you invite- from DMs. <laughs> <laughs> from DMs with kids, <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah, from, stop. from DMs I, with I, adult hey, people. Hey, stop! It's Mackenzie from Nickelodeon. dot com. No, it isn't. <laughs> From the Kim Possible. 18 I am No, it's <laughs> not at all. <laughs> Group chat. It's not that. Uh-huh. From fucking... What do kids even play anymore? I don't know. I don't know. So we traded Nintendo Switch clo- codes on Cooking Mama? <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> I don't know who you are. From Animal Crossing. Yeah. No. Uh, yes. And By the way, Animal Crossing's all like gay adults. It's not even... Children, I don't think. Yeah, well, it's Minecraft now for the kids. I don't know, dude. I just play Zelda. I play stuff for grown ups. Yeah, I play backgammon on my. I phone. finished uh, Breath nice, of the brother. Wild, and I had no idea. I got caught into the making clothes trap again. With of this course, game. you did, dude. And any game, any that. game will trick me into thinking it's going to be a very long game. The second there's a clothes making option, or <laughs> yeah, I become yeah, the yeah. tailor of Panama. <laughs> yeah. um, what, what was Link dressed in? Uh, you know, everything. I had to had to make every p- type of clothes that you could make, <laughs> and I have the fair all the great fairies and Han Solo of the clothing, which required a lot of finding lizards and different <laughs> kinds of mushrooms. <laughs> the great fairies. Uh, yeah, you were in the game. Uh, you and Adam. You're not looking at me. The great fairies. You're too. Uh-huh. Great. Oh. I'm going to get a little, I have a little, I'm holding a little mirror up. Next You're to not at all. Yes, I am. You're not holding a mirror up. It would nice be try. very funny to see you next uh, episode, tiny fairy wings. But real quick, we got to talk about. Be powerful about, enough. To, sh- we got to talk about Sedalophil and Sedalophil. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's and true. make sure. I forgot. That you know what? The, 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 I don't the, have to deal with another email <laughs> telling me that the promo code was not read. But in fact, <laughs> it was read. They just didn't. They the person who they just stopped listening. Person, probably seven minutes after the ad started, right. thinking uh, they must have moved on. Because you say that I'm going to see if there's a way I can sue my employer for making me listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> because this was not. I did not. This is a form of sexual harassment <laughs> to make me listen to this dog shit to get the fucking mm-hmm. to hear the promo code. I know, is it dude, some fucking girl that is wants to be in advertising oh is like God. listening to this to make sure we're doing it yeah. she majored in advertising at wisconsin uh, yeah. uh, across the board yeah it is it's what if girls started, that have to listen to these ads what if it turns out i've been saying lacrosse the board the entire time that'd be that'd pretty be cool. cool thinking that was the, the expression yeah, yeah. i wouldn't be surprised you're yeah. stupid ah mm-hmm. coming from lacrosse to <laughs> <laughs> you just thought the word across mm-hmm. was lacrosse <laughs> Uh, come town twenty or whatever. Yep. Bluechew.com slash come town. And we listen, love sex we love, love getting our com. dicks hard around Adam, here. Open that fucking drawer and pull the copy out. Yeah, absolutely. That was part of your job this morning. I'm sorry, I forgot. Which again, you wanted to get salty. And, and I didn't here. get. Salty. Oh, we haven't even gotten into the, it yet. The breakfast sandwich. We haven't Moscow. even gotten into it. Listen, yet. the people are tired of the breakfast sandwich thing. 
I don't, I mean, you know, does that mean we shouldn't stretch it out into mm-hmm. a third week? You know, it used to be, it used to be, <laughs> yes. it used to be we'd get the fall and I'd be like, ooh, it'd be nice to have a girlfriend just for the fall. Mm-hmm. And now I think it would be nice to have a drug problem for the next five years. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Just get in here, get cozied up. Mm-hmm. I found a... Maybe a, I could get a tooth extracted. Mm. If uh, if any of the fans have any idea how to give yourself, uh, uh, like... A cavity or an abscess or something. Just eat, cho- eat, eat chocolate. If there's and something, candies. if some way, something I could inject into myself that I could get a prescription, or maybe if I, there's a way to shatter my kneecap. They don't give you prescriptions anymore because the opioid crisis. Uh, Unless you find a cool doctor, you can get your wisdom teeth out and they'll just give you towel. I had a fat doctor named Alfredo that would give out pills like they were nothing. Mm, yeah, he sounds cool. He's, He's like, first cool. of all, I'm glad you came to me because I'm in a family. <laughs> Straight up, when I walked in, he was. Like yeah. he tried to convince me to get gastric bypass surgery, <laughs> and I was like, "I'm here because my shoulder hurts." <laughs> He's like, "It's scared because you're carrying your stomach all the time." <laughs> yeah, hey. oh, but real quick, here's a special deal for our listeners: if you try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code Come Town at checkout, you just pay five dollars shipping. That's bluechew.com promo code Come Town re- to receive your first month free. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring this podcast. Oh, we a, really do. A thank you, madame. And let's talk a little bit, you know, you kind of, you know, you didn't, act, well, you didn't say any of the good parts of the fucking product. You the know? process is simple. You say the good parts, you, Adam. You, you go to bluechew.com. <laughs> you consult with you one of their licensed... Three minutes worth of the good parts. You consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. That's awesome. In discreet packaging, and it's all done online. Mm. You don't like swallowing pills? You can chew them. What else? Um, do not. Oh yeah, we can't say any of that. Um, I think we hit it all. And I just want to say, your dick really does get hard. Your dick does get hard. Mm-hmm. It does. It doesn't make up for other shortcomings. It won't whether make it, it be bigger. physical or person personality. But for yep. But your dick certainly gets hard. Mm-hmm. And the and the chewables will be will be made in the United States. Absolutely, these colors don't fucking run. This dick is getting your dick is getting hard thanks to the good mm-hmm. fucking the the t- chewable tablets that go into your mouth and down into your dick. American hands crafted those. American hands, and all of their the people at the factory have papers. <laughs> Absolutely. I went through I went through all of their employment files and they are all legal and fucking horny. They're all horny. They're, Imagine you're and the they're guy. all hot chicks. You really got to watch. They're all girls. They're, they're all girls sopping wet that are just want you to get hard for and them. They're begging you to get hard. Please, <laughs> please fuck me. Please, I want it. I just want more guys to be hard. I want your cock. Police? That's the shit they're saying in there. Please yeah. get your dick hard. Police? And there's one. <laughs> and there's one, there's one gay Hispanic. Man. There's one guy doing a police Navidad. Police get your dick hard. <laughs> Prospero, He's just in the corner playing guitar. And that they have a fun work environment, mm. too. Oh, my God. Their office culture is the best. They have happy hours. They they have have a, <sighs> we have a good environment mm-hmm. because the company is worker-owned. That's right. Yep. I learned that from my socialistas podcast. They have very agreeable maternity leave, and that's good because all those bitches are getting me, fucked. They're they getting me fucked and they're to, getting cummed in. Yeah. They told me they're how constantly to, just <laughs> getting <laughs> busted their inside. Their pussies are Fuck. fucking overflowing <laughs> with jit. <laughs> and we did we were just in case you're just joining us now, this is the blue shoe factory. <laughs> oh, we're at the factory. Where all the workers are girls mm-hmm. with sopping wet pussies yeah. that are filled to and the brim can, with goo. <laughs> and you can order you can, you can order gooed up. you can win a tour of the factory. Hosted by Willie Willie uh, or mm-hmm. Willie Hart Willie Willie uh, Schlonk. And guess Willie what? Schlonka. It's like one of those factories where they you Come see, and see you see in my dr- dick. <laughs> <laughs> view my tiny little mm. <laughs> and they make them all work naked because they don't want them stealing it, any of the blue chews. It's like um, just like in Blow or one of those no, drug no. movies it was where they make the bitches traffic. naked with Wesley Snipes. Traffic. No, no, no. The original money, one of those. Money uh, no, man. We're cr- uh, a crackhead. Double impact. New Jack City. New Jack, New Jack City. City. Nude. 
Nude. Nude Jack City. Nude Black City. <laughs> nude Black City. <laughs> nude, wow. Nude Black. Uh, that nude. I could not live there. That's right, Buster. How about Nude Smack City? I'd be put to City, shame. And it's about uh, <laughs> Jackie Chan. <laughs> <laughs> or is, it, is that the other Smacky one? Chan. Smacky Chan. Smacky Chan. But that was the last one. <laughs> yeah, that was the last episode. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I got no. I'm not paying attention. So yeah, anyway, go good. to bluechew.com. Use promo code come ten. Get that, five dollar free order. Just five dollar shipping, and as you might as you, fuck all the hot girls. As long that as you're are already naked. sitting down at your personal computer, head on over to come town. Perfect time to to boost Hollywood sa- holiday sales by mentioning. If you want to, because they're look, I tell you, they're gonna fuck up, and they're not gonna, they're not gonna have your shit to you on time if you want it for the holidays. You mm-hmm. need to get in early. You need to, do you need to place those orders mm-hmm. now? Because I guarantee you, if it gets to mid October, you ain't getting that shit till fucking March. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> go to and listen. Go to Stavi.biz for uh, merch that'll get there sooner. Get a weed prano shirt for your stepdad. See if he's cool. Come dot town. Just pay whatever the car is shipping. I don't know what the fuck shipping is. But go now. You want the holiday shit. You got to fucking uh, shoot uh, from the pussy or something. You got to shoot from the pussy. You got to shoot straight <laughs> like from the pussy. Like it's a fucking ping pong ball. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll Just tell you, like you're back in Hanoi. I, I want a bunch of little miniature blueberry muffins. Sounds awesome. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. A, yeah. You won them or you want I them? I want them. I, I thought also, you won an awesome lottery. I also want to participate in a cakewalk, which I haven't done since. Which was the only thing I ever won in my entire life. I know I it's going, incredible. What's I, a cakewalk? It's a thing. Every, everyone wins. You know how everyone wins. You they know say they, it's a cakewalk. You know what that yeah. expression comes from? And as a kid, I won a cake, and I was like, "Really? Yeah." I was like, "This is a." I had to feel amazing. I've never heard about a cakewalk. So in my they life. have like all the moms make a baked good, right? Mm-hmm. All the moms and then you get cake. in a circle, right? And you walk around, they stop. And you walk on around, a they stop. Yeah, they stop on a number, and then you get the corresponding baked good. That's right. so right. fucking. It's I the coolest a, thing in the entire pink, pink world. How the fuck cake. have I never mm-hmm. went on a cakewalk? Well, your family was too poor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> also, you, you, you could, and you couldn't walk either. And I could walk. walk. I was a great athlete as a youth. More, more, more cake. Not so much walk. <laughs> in the, in the star, the star Listen, star. nine-year-old the judge, me the judge would whoop the, nine-year-old both of your asses in sports. Judge, judge, and it's not even close. The judge is looking at the at the the cakewalk. Yeah. like we can't see his legs moving. It's just a ball. No, like, sort of rolling. I had powerful legs as a youth. No, yeah, I really did. No. You're on. <laughs> I was a, I was a young soccer star. Yeah, no, I just happened to be obese. Didn't happen. <laughs> it did happen. Mm-hmm. You were the ball. Okay. I remember one time though. This no, is I was not. The one ball. time though, you were like me and Eldis. Like we were the same. We were the same height growing up, and then he just got tall, and I didn't. And then you showed a, a picture of you and Eldis's kids, and he's clearly way no. taller than you. No, yeah, he was. <laughs> just, I did. That see was that fifth grade, and it already started. No, 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 but we were no the big chance. kids. <laughs> He was. You were top row. You were Thank top row. Thank you, Adam. I was top I'm row. I'm just being fair. Was he top I've row? been the same he height. Top row. You I've been the same, the same height, height since fucking seventh Him grade. And were both There's the nothing top I could do about it. I stopped growing in fucking eighth grade. Mm-hmm. You Eldest just, bitch ass. You fucking. just said it already started in fifth grade. So well, no. the, it, the separation. This was an started. elementary school picture. We're talking. Yeah. We're talking kids on a carpet with their legs crossed. Mm-hmm. I was top row, and you both know it. A, a Hispanic girl wearing her best sweater. I was mm-hmm. top row. That kind of style. Yes, yeah. that school. is what it was. Yeah. But we were the tallest kids in class growing up. Yeah. And that cocksucker kept growing, and I stayed right here where I'm at. You slowed down. And I'm still pissed off at God for that mm-hmm. one. And God now, can suck my fucking dick. And now dick. Eldis is one of those tall, hot guys. <laughs> yeah. Just be, <laughs> being handed everything he wants <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just one of those jocks that doesn't even have to open his mouth. He just gets. He's one of the least coordinated people I've ever met. In my know, life, he's too. just such a fumbly guy. But yeah, I guess the Lord said, "You know what? I have, I'm too strong. Mm-hmm. I'm too compact. I'm a compact. I'm rich. You know, I'm like a fucking um, a lint chocolate. One of those little lint chocolate balls." Yeah, Ooh, that reminds rich. me of Christmas time. I eat the lint, hundred uh, percent dark chocolate. Yeah, 
And the, they come in a special gold foil, and there's a tasting guide inside of the fucking box. 100%. 100%, dude. There's no it. sugar whatsoever in None. that bitch? It's like eating a little piece of uh it Sounds like cigarette. shit. Yeah, it's great. I love it. Because I like at 87%. No, I smoke, uh, I smoke a cigarette, and I have my dark chocolate, and I pretend I'm interrogating a French family. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the Jews? Where did you hide them? Where did you hide them? I just say, you know what I'm here for. (laughs) We all know what I'm here for. I'm not even going to ask any questions. I'm going to eat this bar of chocolate, Mm -hmm. and I don't need to tell you what happens when I finish it (laughs) if I don't have what I want. (laughs) And then I slowly break off a piece, and I eat it, and then I smoke my cigarette. And you're like, "Mm, delicious. And you shoot a you shoot around into the attic And I'm like this, I don't speak this language. I don't even speak German. I'm here volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here I'm, I'm here grew up in Bakersfield, California. I'm here on an internship. It's two thousand thirteen. <laughs> yeah. It's not even the Holocaust. Mm-hmm. Just a young girl from North Jersey getting an internship with the Nazi party. Yeah. Because her uncle knows. Doing somebody. social media. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, just asking you, you're not hiding any Jews in the basement, are you? <laughs> oh you're, my God. We are your own people. How can you do this to us? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I could ask somebody. I don't know. But I don't know. Mm. I'm just like really trying to, I'm trying to I'm get, I'm just trying to get a good I'm job. Trying get a I'm trying job to get a job at Condé Nast. I'm trying to, I'm trying to work at Condé Nast. Condom. Condom nasty. Condom nasty. Condom gash. Condom gash. (laughs) That's good stuff. A little dry cough sponsored by Ridge Wallet. (laughs) (laughs) We got a little dry cough for you. Yeah, Ridge Wallet, our favorite sponsor. We love those fuckers. We're, we're we literally use all their products. It's yeah. a product we use. I use the backpack all the time because I go places. I use the backpack. It would too. be nice if I had a bigger one. But I hey. use the backpack too. And you know what? I, I go on the road weekend. a lot. It'd be nice if I had a fucking. Mm-hmm. Uh, what the fuck are those called? The commuter. No, the you, duffel bag. Because you know, how, you know how hard it is that not only you got to pack your clothes, but bring a full size refrigerator with you. <laughs> on the road. Why would I have to do that? Stop. Uh, having that shipped on the, the plane, which is the I, same I plane would, from the movie Operation Dumbo. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even use a. I could use a fucking and, duffel bag. And it's that. the it's the night of the big show, and we're here at the LZ outside of Hilarity's Comedy Club, and there comes Stavros with his refrigerator. Greater in tow, parachuting down. <laughs> you think I'd parachute Gra- directly into the club? Gra- gracefully down into the big field outside of Cleveland, <laughs> where he'll be brought by Earth Movers to his. Why well, wouldn't I the, use the airport? And the big the- outdoor pool, the big, emptied out. We've, the local Sea World has emptied out the pool. And they put hamster <laughs> hamster cage shit all over the bottom. And the and the local <laughs> children have come to welcome him and wave him on as That's he lands. That's not at all what happened. You guys are fucking liars. And, and, and the, the, <laughs> the most important part is that he brings a refrigerator with him. You guys are Ridge, fucking liars. The Ridge Wallet refrigerator. Well, yeah. look, why don't you give us a review of the duffel bag that you Stop use uses so much? The Fridge Wallet. No, I no, told no. you the duffel bag I gave away to a guy dying with AIDS who emailed it's me. It's definitely here. No, it's not. It's definitely in this fucking. Apartment. I can't wait till all the fans die of AIDS. Our story. <laughs> Uh, father, some some team, Daniel and Paul Kane launched their Ridge Wall Womlet on Kick Womlet Kick Starber in 2013. Is it, that's how you say that, right? And now sits in the fringe pocket of a, a million over a million men and women. Worldwide, it's a pretty good story. The two have since recruit requited a small, close knit knit team to exist. Well, Paul and Chris, if you're listening, give me a fucking duffel bag, because I'll put it to use. Uh, and send me one of the knives. Fuck you. Execute. Fuck you, Adam. Why? Execute. You got a big backpack already. I ch- I've been using it, They're dude. Amazing. I took that. That backpack's been to France. 
Their Whatever. vision of uh, cre- cre- eating. Anyway, they got phone cases, <laughs> wallets, backpacks, knives, and power stuff. Power straps. Well, give it up for Don and Tom Paulus. The good Paulus. guys. Oh, Daniel and Paul Kane, sorry. Um, They're who, good guys, man. Uh, the Paulus brothers who created the wallet and back in 2009. It looks like they're kind of those van life kind of people from this, based on this picture. Yeah, van life. It's sort of a Gabby to, to Tito. Yeah, Brian, kind of a Brian Brian Singer situation. Kind of a <laughs> yeah. Do they do they they didn't get laundry yet? They they're never gonna find them. They're never gonna find laundry. No. Oh shit! That guy's still out and about. No, he. I guarantee you. Good he's, on him. He's somewhere in Bushwick right now. Yeah, that's true. Living, <laughs> living with a mixed race kid with that mop haircut. Yeah, he's literally <laughs> on he's, Tinder. He's going, yeah, he's on Tinder. He's going to Maria Hernandez Park every day. He's hiding in plain sight. To hit on girls dressed like fucking Nightmare Before Christmas nerds. Mm-hmm. Now, who were all born in 2001. And I'm staring out my blinds in a wheelchair masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> fucking calling the police. I'm about to come. I'm about to come. There's <laughs> children fucking more than I did or do now, and it's pissing me off. <laughs> Good thing I have my Ridge wallet. You don't understand. Keep me company. Listen, detective, I'm, a, I'm an old man who's wasted his fucking life. And everybody hates me, and all I can do is jack off, and I want you to arrest those kids for getting more pussy than me. (laughs) But, uh, sir, it's me, the police. What if we send you a Ridge wallet? Yeah. Or any of their line of products. Or you send me a, a bitch. Yeah. What if we put a Ridge wallet in her pussy? I guess I'll have to accept that. (laughs) Okay. Great. Is it Jimmy Stewart in that movie? It's not, is it? It is. it is in Rear Window. Rear Window? Yeah. yeah. I don't know why I thought it was Gregory Peck for a second. Oh, it's you ju- wanted to Gregory Greg- Peck. Now, there's a guy who got a lot of fucking pussy. Not me. I was in World War II, and everyone <laughs> thinks I'm a fucking loser. They got why are you Gregory Peck in my ass? They got a titanium wallet. They got an aluminum wallet. They have a gold wallet. They got the carbon fire. It looks like the gold has been discontinued. Mm-hmm. The they have 18 wallet. carat. It looks like it's right here. Where? I don't see it. It's under their best sellers. Not only is it not discontinued, a lot of fucking losers have that one. Yeah. They got a tiki wallet with a Hawaiian shit on it. Mm-hmm. They got all types of stuff, guys. And these wallets, uh, they protect against hackers scanning your credit cards, which happens to me on a daily basis, mm-hmm. personally. What else? That's, I mean, uh, what's the what's the deal that they got, Nick? Um, the de- I don't think they even have a deal. We just promote their products. Oh, okay. I think yeah. there's a deal. I don't think there's a deal. Well, well, I think that yeah, there is. Carbon fiber three. Well, fuck around. Check it out. Add the type Comtown. Type Comtown. Try them out. Here, check out. Let's see. Let's check out. Um, Express check out. Code or gift card. Let's check. So there's a code. There's got to be a code. There's a code. Yeah. Put in the code. Fucking sleepy. A, a gym code. Right. Oh, yeah. No, hold on. I guess I'm off here. It looks so. <laughs> Come town. It says hospital employees, medical providers. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like it got me $12.50 off. There you go. That's folks. pretty good. Yeah. That's free fucking money right That's there. That's free money animals. put in your pocket. Okay, babe, a lot of folks say $12.50 can't buy you a lot these days. But with 10, 10, 10 20, <laughs> that'll get you a fucking 20 minute <laughs> 10, phone 10, call. 10, 20. That'll get you a 20 minute long distance phone call. Okay, Bobby Boy Boo, <laughs> Bubiano? You want okay, to make a, Chachi. Okay, you want to call up the fucking Sultan of Brunei and tell him that in twelve eleven his letter to Sultan Mehmed the through fourteenth was fucking explicitly homosexual, gayer than when Catherine the mm-hmm. Great sacked for you know I don't know, whatever his bullshit. Is. <laughs> yeah, fucking, even doing even doing it's the so funny how stories. much how much people fucking. Every commercial was for ways to make long distance calls. Yeah, they had <laughs> Seth Green talking about uh, C A L L A T T. I remember using ten ten two twenty. I was heavy on the ten ten two twenty. I remember. I, I remember placing a collect call and my mom getting mad at me about it. You can just deny the call. Yeah, I know. It was funny because there was that that commercial with uh, Bob. We had a baby eats a boy. Yes, that was a good commercial. And they just tell you how to fucking game the system. Well, that's what I did with my mom. I would yeah. when I wanted to be like, her. "Hey, pick me up." Exactly. Yeah. 
pick me up from Greek school. Yeah. Even though it was a three block walk. What's my Greek, parents What's Greek school? That's just being molested, right? <laughs> yeah, you go yeah. in a guy and took a suck your little ass dick. Yeah. Yeah. Well it's like you know, you, you get molested mm-hmm. and then you learn how to molest. Right. That's yeah. fifth grade and uh, sixth grade. You yeah. should be you once should you get be, confirmed. You should be the little Caesars guy for Halloween this year stuff. Pizza, pizza, penis, yeah, penis. Guy. There's not much of the costume. There's suck, a suck spear. Come down. a spear with a uh, pizza. Yeah, on and it. you got the 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 the, the, the uh, what is that? Like an olive leaf? What do the Greek people wear? Around yeah, the yeah, one of those There's, Olympics yeah. shits. Yeah, yeah, the that, wreath. Yeah, whatever that shit is, you wear that, and then, um, what, oh my god, oh, fuck, your back hurts. Yeah. Uh, uh, Come Town is a promo code at the Ridge Wallet <laughs> website. That's awesome. All right, That's check them out. Check them out. I, I really do. I use. It's a great product. It is the Ridge Wallet fucking rules. They're they great, phone and cases. I have nothing against them. Let me put that out there. But if they want to send us more free shit, not us. If they want to right some historical wrongs, so I, aka I, I the guy with the little backpack. I don't understand that. Not here. getting an the extra, extra so, thing. So there's three backpacks that we got sent. Yours is missing a pocket. Therefore, you get extra stuff that puts you ahead of the rest of us. Mm-hmm. Rather, than no, no, no. What happened was we played rock paper scissors and stuff lost, and I, we couldn't lose like a gentleman. I am getting fucked here. He's had to. Okay, complain I'm about. getting fucked in a major way, and I think it's only fair that the guy who's getting fucked backpack wise mm-hmm. gets an extra. Bag. No, what need, what wrong needs to be corrected is we need to go back all the way to 1993 and get your little fat ass in a fucking cakewalk. <laughs> that so would be that, awesome. That's true. Maybe this, you would have found chip, what this, you've been trying to find your chip whole life on your shoulder that you've been nipping at like a fucking crumb. <laughs> I would have. Lo- and the thing is, there is no gone. child in the world in the history of the world that would have appreciated a cakewalk more yeah, than me. It would have changed your that's entire how, that's life. That's what I would have done. Fuck. Ah, uh, fuck. You would have, you would have I been a cakewalk. I want to do this after this I want to go to a cakewalk so bad. I want pastries. We'll find you a cakewalk. You got to join a church. You should have written a, I tried to submit an article to Salon during the <sighs> pandemic about how you never got a cakewalk as a kid. The picture of yourself, and now you'll ne- you probably never will because of Corona. I yeah. should have. Just a picture of you looking serious with your hair all shitty coming to the side. <laughs> Like I'm, I, there's a very good chance I will lose the use of my legs yeah. during the pandemic, during quarantine <laughs> lockdown, which I did for a period last summer. That's right. <laughs> I had my own personal Corona quarantine. People forget that that Stav was literally wheelchair bound <laughs> for like three that was months. your first one, yeah. Yeah, it was pretty cool wearing wearing a swimsuit. <laughs> that was my you first ran out bout of, of wanting to kill myself in quite some time. That was a, that was a very interesting time. Mm-hmm. I remember just going into your bedroom and then just all of us just doing different pills that you had in like a miscellaneous <laughs> pill jar. We were like, yeah, it was really fucked up. Yeah, that was maybe the worst three months of my life. Damn, I'm trying to remember the worst three months of my life. Yeah, a lot of it, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, stop. We both watched the Many Saints of Newark. No, we'll get to that. What happened? What revelations did you have in Nashville, Adam? Oh well, listen. Of the course, many, the many paints of. Uh, that, I was going to bring this up last time you said it. Yeah, what was it? Uh, I don't know where to go from there. I was thinking the many paints of of the colors of the wind. Okay, fine. No, no. that's definitely not it. So what happened in uh, Nashville? Well, just a lot of people approached me and they said that I was right about the the breakfast. Center. They're what full is of there, shit. What is there even to be right about? Mm-hmm. What the fuck is there even to be right about? They said, they said that you were being you know what I generous by offering. You know what a I found out this week? Uh, they're out of bounds. You know what I found out? That's what I that? said to them. You know no, you didn't. What I no, said you didn't. Hold on. You said yeah. I said you're right for you. I no, you fucking you. didn't. And I said for you to make disparaging comments no, about stops. And you know and what? It's fat phobia if they were against me. Yeah, yeah, it's you true. You know what I found they out? They say week, a lot of fat phobic things. Go ahead. I didn't think I was going to think. I can hold my breath for three minutes. No way. Yeah. How'd you find that out? I just tried it. I want to see how long I... <laughs> <You're> just... <laughs> three minutes? Yeah, three minutes. Three minutes. Which is apparently, that's like... You know what you should get into is... is uh, you should David be... Blaine can only do six and a half minutes. 
He's a fucking wow. pussy. You're a half blind. <laughs> I'm, I'm halfway there. I need all training right. for that shit. Let me see how long I can go. Let's all try. Though, what at a time it nah, is. Yeah, and then you're going to be cheating. Also, we need you to grill Adam on this, this whatever he's saying about the, about the thing. You, the fact that you, first of all, apologize last week. No, I retract my apology. And now because some fucking yokels in Nashville, mm -hmm. some fat phobic pieces of shit that yeah. don't understand what friendship is and don't understand what having someone's back means. First of all, they understand friendship. They're my friends. They're not your okay? friends. And second of all, they don't love you. I love you. They don't love you. <laughs> and you fucking betrayed me. And you apologized, and I was happy to put it behind you us. You hit me because you love me. I do. Maybe this is a cycle of violence that I need to bust my way out of. <laughs> you, need to, you need to give me the names and addresses of the people that said you were right about fucking... I'm going to find them. And you know what? You probably said thanks, you guys. Because you know what? You know how many people said, come up no. to me? I said, we're you know just how many people fun. come up to me and say, I said, Listen, tell guys, Adam he's gay? I'm pretty thousands. sure thousands. Yeah, and you know, what I say to them is a lot of them, fuck off. A lot that's of them, my friend. A lot of them tell me that too. Um, yeah. <laughs> here's the and thing. I say Adam's my friend. I don't know you. I said I said to them, but you probably said yeah. He's a fucking idiot. No, you I love said it. no, no, no. You I'm not, love I'm not, the adoration. No, 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 no. The ad, here's the evidence. I'm not that, making the Sean Patton fiasco. So, yep. Remember What's that? that? When Stav, yep. Stav was on stage. And Sean said I had a big penis. Sean's like, man, it looks like Stav's got a huge dick. And you were like, actually, he doesn't. Actually, his dick is very small. No, he I didn't say his dick was very you, small. Oh, yes, yes he you did. did. No, I didn't. I yes, said he had a regular did. size penis. No, 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 mm -hmm. no. No, no sir. I'm sorry. I should have let Sean Patton think you had a big penis. You should have. You should have. And you're not Honestly, fucking educating us. You're I will concede insight. that point. I will concede that point. But you see the sandwich. Retract your retraction. Of your apology. No, I want to finish what I said like to those. Fucking teeth what I said you. to those people. What I said was. You pretend like you get. And you this, is your behind, this is a peek behind. This is a peek behind. After the, you wear a motherfucker out, <laughs> trying to get you to understand what you did wrong. Yep. And then you finally do, and the second you breathe easy, you say, "Oh, but you know, I guess I was kind of in the right." <laughs> and it just breaks you down. A lot yeah. of people said, and that's emotional abuse. You I'm just saying. Yeah. Listen, you I'm not saying. Abuse me. Okay, listen. You're a, what I said to those people. You're a toxic. You you are toxic. It's true. You're fucking toxic. <laughs> what I said, disgusted. What I said to those people, I said, it's a show and we were just having fun. That's what I said to them. That's a cop out. I didn't say yes. That's a way for you. I to didn't say it. yes. You're right. Turn that I act. was one hundred percent correct. Not only not about denying it, making himself this magnanimous fucking. No, I said we're just having fun. Right. Because right. not, right. you're not only right. saying yes, right. Stav is right. You're yep. saying, <laughs> of course he was wrong, but I'm. <laughs> but I, for me, I'm doing a job. Oh, I'm entertaining. I you. could never. I said it's just a show. We were just. He doesn't know any better, poor Stavros. But I didn't say that. I didn't say any of that. I didn't imply that. Marmalade. Laid on the brain, and yeah. I didn't apply any of that. They're all sticky. They're all sticky, and they don't conduct. Someone yeah. wants to come up to me and say that my friend Stav is fat. I'll tell them that they're a fucking idiot, and, and mm -hmm. they don't. They've never even met Stav. In real life, Stav is not fat at all. <laughs> <laughs> he looks great. It's just a character. It's just a character. It's just a, it's just a show. Shit. Yeah, if they want to talk shit, but they weren't talking shit about you. They were. No, they weren't. By weighing in against me on the they sandwich said, debate, they were attacking everything I stand for. Listen, there were a couple... And you're so weak-willed. There were professors. And weak-minded that you let these fucking idiots to take away the, I'm just the correct saying. stance you had finally come to? I'm just saying. You let them drive a wedge between us? Okay. And that's your fucking issue. I've said this before. I am nothing if not a survivor. And if popular sentiment goes one way, that's where I'm going to. But that's how, fuck it, that's how you fucking were in the forest for the fucking trees motherfucker mm -hmm. you're around some little dick ass trees that, that just <laughs> wanted to curry favor with you yeah. they probably don't even believe it mm -hmm. because what kind of a morally bankrupt person would yeah. listen to the sandwich saga and land with you on that situation I it, it disgusts it. Yeah, me they were trying to yeah them. exactly they, so they were lying to I you I guarantee you if fucking Stav were in that end town that exactly week, they would say town, I can't end. believe that what Adam did 100%. and if I were in town I would have hung out in the green room the whole time, then gone to my hotel and not had any interaction with any of That's probably, honestly, the most they, sound solution. I, I would have bombed the whole week, and they would have done better than me on the shows, and I wouldn't even fucking care. I wouldn't have watched any of their sets. I would not fucking give them advice or be cool to them. And I wish them the best of luck. But, but just none of my personal time. But none of my time, that's because a, if they're lucky, mm -hmm. if they get that one in a million shot and things work out, 
it's going to ruin their life. <laughs> <laughs> and I know because I am, I am actually the one who cares about people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not really, but <laughs> right, you know. It's something to tell yourself. It's something to tell yourself, exactly. <laughs> it's how I sleep at night. <laughs> and my sleep is important because I'm bipolar, and if I don't sleep, then guess who's going to have to use Adam's credit card <laughs> to buy a bunch of puzzles online? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Uh, is bipolar? Is it get? Do people go more bipolar in the fucking winter? <laughs> uh, is there a bipolar season? I feel like summer is worse. Yeah, that makes mm-hmm. sense. It like cooks your brain. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Um, you gotta stay cool. Yeah, you gotta stay sexy out there. You gotta stay cool. You gotta stay hot. You gotta you suck dick. You gotta eat ass. You gotta be a fag. Well, I guess since the episode is coming to an end, we can discuss the many saints of Newark. Spoiler alert, everyone. The we many, will be... The many paints of... Yeah. Go ahead. You get a second crack at it. Ah, oh, fuck. The many paints of... Oh, faggot. No, no, the many paints of... What's the guy's name? Bob... Bob Hoskins? The painter. Uh, Ross. The many paints of Bob Ross. That sounds like Newark. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the many paints of Bob Ross. Paints of Bob Ross. He's pretty good at painting. He's dead, dude. He was. You think he's got a daughter or granddaughter or some shit? Should I buy a house in Newark? Yeah, uh, why yeah. Why not? It's, why? it's mad cheap, dude. You can get a house Still? in like Forest Hill for like six hundred grand. Is that a neighborhood like a seven, there? Yeah, it's like a nice historic neighborhood. Oh, really? It's just in fucking Newark, so it's like. How like, far is it? Uh, it's like right. You know, it's right outside Newark. It's right outside the city. Would it, would it take like forty minutes to drive from here? No, it's it's like Newark is as far away from Manhattan as Brooklyn is, basically. Interesting. Yeah, like if you were living in, like, I don't think that's true. No, it is true. If you were living in like Ocean Hill or something, like you know, a little deep, like Far Crown Heights or something, it's not. Like you're saying in, deep Brooklyn. It's not like being in Williamsburg. I mean, Bed Stuy is pretty fucking close. Look at a map. Look at a I was map. surprised last time I went to New York Airport re- how fast it took. You just want to refute something I'm saying without you're like, oh, I don't think I I don't think that's I true. think you saying that oh. Newark is as far as Brooklyn is not true. You go over a bridge and then you're in Brooklyn. You can't go over a bridge and be in Newark. Anyway, that movie you fucking can. sucked. Slav and I both agree that movie sucked. Yeah, it was not very good. It broke my heart, in fact, I would say. It was a movie about fucking... There was no reason for it to exist. You know yeah, what really pissed were, me off? Were, if were, if you were, actually want to talk about Newark it, Newark is as far away from Manhattan as Ocean Hill or like Deep Crown Heights. I didn't know you were talking about Deep or, Brooklyn. Or Flatbush. That's, first of all, that's not Deep Brooklyn. I'm not making this point and saying like, yeah, it's about as far away as Brighton Beach is. Fucking Ocean Hill, Crown Heights, that's reasonable. Flatbush even is probably closer than Flatbush. You gotta suck dick, you gotta fuck ass, you gotta suck pussy. What was that, Adam? Um, fuck you, also. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> dare you. <laughs> Fucking dare you. Dude. I'm wrong about how close Newark is. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> what the fuck is this? The Newark Museum of Art? What do they got there? Just a piece of toilet paper somebody wiped their ass with? Yeah, yeah it's it, modern yeah. art. Yeah. That's modern art. Get the ass. Suck on my fucking Look at this stupid Abe Lincoln statue they got. That's the guy that gets his ass, che- his thigh cheeks fucked. Mm-hmm. He was from Newark? Yeah, he's from Newark. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. The building itself looks cool. Mm-hmm. It was a once great city According that Italians to- built brick by brick. brick by fucking brick. And then they gave it away out of the goodness of their own hearts. <laughs> I can't believe it. Uh, No, the thing that did piss me off... Yes, go ahead. ...is that when you watch the show, in all the flashback scenes, they're all very, like, sweet and kind of, like, rose-tinted. It is $5.95 for this place. That's still real money. Yeah. Have you looked at... Is it a big house? But this house would cost... $3 $3 million in New York. Yeah. And if you look at home prices in the rest of the country now, nowhere is fucking cheap. It's like the average home price is everywhere, like $300,000. It's insane. Yeah, that's right. Hey, Greek Town, you can still get a nice deal that's over a, there. Nice we should all move to Greek Town, boys. We get a house for hundred fifty k. That is a really nice house. You got a sock dig. You got a fuck. Of course, house. I'll never do such a thing. 
No, it's still too far away. Yeah. I'll continue to be fucked in my ass and rent <laughs> in New York <laughs> until the, the money dries up from the show, at which point I will start <sighs> abusing the social services for people with violent mental illness. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing for them these days? What do you mean, what are we doing for them? The social services. I, I dated a girl for a while that like ran a uh, housing program for mentally ill people. Oh, and she you get a house. Sincerely, was nice. like, you know, I could get you an apartment. <laughs> 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 was like, um, you should have taken her up on it. Yeah, probably. Damn. Yeah, but then we broke up, and then I would have to like check in. Do you see how Jewish Adam was there? He was like, damn, I could see the look in his eyes. Mm -hmm. He was like, can I fake it? Sounds can like I a get deal. Over your apartment. Yeah, look at this place, five ninety nine, gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Yeah, and Adam could never live there or see it. Yeah, you're not allowed. He's not allowed to see I it. can go on Zillow on my phone. If you do and you do that in my company, I will start kicking the back of your shoes. No, I'm going to do it behind <laughs> your back. I will start kicking your knees and, and aiming for your groin. I'm going to be doing that behind <laughs> your back. I'm going to start kicking towards you. Yeah. This Even when I hear the, your their phone ch ch unlock noise. Just to be safe. I'm, I'm going to put it on silent. A roundhouse kicking your ankles and thighs. Just whacking. Just I feel like movies really overstated. Chop. Giving the, your legs uh, the chop. Movies really overstated the, the power of a roundhouse kick. No, they didn't. Yeah. Adam, because Adam tried to roundhouse kick. You somebody. just don't know how to kick. You it just no takes power. a long time to get around, you know. You have house. no power. <sighs> you have no ability to roundhouse kick. Ugh, fuck my ass. You could never do karate. Me? Mm hmm. Why? Don't have the gumption. It's true. <laughs> Aren't built for it. <laughs> You're absolutely Aren't right. Aren't built for combat. Adam does Brazilian shoe kids boo. Where he goes <laughs> to a place and they serve him a Is this children's, children's feces and he chews it like bubble gum. Do you really and he's do like, that? If you don't swallow the food, they can't charge you for it. And then he spits it back out on the plate and he's you like, can I'm, still get the nutrients. I'm, I'm returning this. Ch children's shit that I refuse to pay for. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> do you really do that, Adam? What? And they're like, I don't do that, but yeah. What is it? Portuguese yeah. people? Oh, yeah, yeah. Because it's, yeah. it's Brazilian shoe kids. Shoe kids. Shoe kids. That's the karate. Do you really do that, Adam? I don't do that, but you could do that. Did oh, we say shit. promo code Bill? Yeah. I don't do that, but you could do that. Did we say promo code Comtown? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Ridge Wallet, yeah. For either one. Ridge Wallet, Blue Chew. Come town or come town toy. I think they were both come town this time. Wow. What a, what a time to be alive. <laughs> <laughs> um, what I was going to say, Stav, was that I feel like in all the flashback scenes in the show, you realize that the flashbacks, like he's like with Melfi, so you realize that the flashbacks are kind of like misremembering the yeah, past. Yeah, he's color, yeah, yeah. Right? Because Col that's how like, colored glasses. that's how people remember their childhood, right? Yeah. But, but you know, you're like you can assume that that's not actually how things happen because right. that's just one guy's memory of his past. Of course, as he's a little kid. As yeah. he's a little kid too. No one remembers things clearly from yeah. their youth. But I feel like the tone of the movie was same the exact same thing. thing. Yeah. But it wasn't like someone looking back and like having nostalgia for the past. It was just like, oh, yeah. we're going to make a whole movie. It's not even clear. And it's going to be like Tony misremembering the past. Right, but it's like, but it's also like Christopher is... And Christopher's narrating? the narrator? What the yeah. fuck does that? How does that? It's how stupid. does he know about any of this? Apparently, they had like various like openings and closings that they threw away. One was like Carmela in a cemetery looking at Christopher's grave, and then she was going to be the narrator. And then just, and the, what we were saying before the show, like just all the fucking Easter eggs for the fans. Yeah, it felt like a fucking Marvel movie. Where it, like, it was like all such fan servicey bullshit. Where they were like, that's right, Carmella. You know, oh, she's when like he says Carmella, she's not even, there's no reason for her to be there. There's no, there's absolutely no reason. And yeah, all the junior lines and all the fucking, and then Paulie and Sylvia were whole, I mean, Sylvia The guy that played Sylvia was just was doing a cartoon. Horrific. Just a cartoonish horrific. impression. 
It, it pissed me off. I really, yeah. I expected nothing out of that movie, and then the next day I was thinking about it, and I was just like, this. I'm going to watch it again. I will say, I actually like John Bernthal's performance because he's the one guy who wasn't doing an impression. I like seeing him in anything. Because he's did, he made his, he made the character his own thing, yeah. you know? Yeah. And then, and then, and then I will say came, Ray Liotta's came to second my, guy. My old gym one time. Was yeah, yeah, John Bernthal. Yeah, and he, but he, he looked he good. He worked out so quickly that. You didn't have time to process that it was John Bernthal. Was he actually working out, or was he just? I think I, I, he probably just was like looking for something to do. Want to get a quick pump? Yeah, yeah he didn't. It didn't look like that. I like seeing that guy. Kind of just fucked around on an exercise ball for a minute, and then maybe did like some lat pull downs. I can't remember, but he wasn't there that long. Yeah, and also, oh, wait, can I ask you another question? Do you think there's an implication that Junior's gay? Uh, because she's like. You know he's complaining about his back, and then she's like, "Yeah, that you know you you never you know like she." Then she implied anything that, not to fuck, anything around. not to fuck. And then you remember in the show, there's that scene where he beats the woman up for claiming that he likes to eat pussy because it's gay to like to eat pussy. And then there's like a, that's like one of the saddest scenes. It in would the be whole really show. funny if he was gay and eating in this world eating pussy is gay. Yeah, <laughs> well, it literally kind gay. of is. Yeah, it kind of is. Um. I don't know. I'd have to rethink that. I just thought the like, yeah, everything was really ham fisted and just, just didn't. There was no story really. There There's was no, no reason to make that movie. There was there was not. I there will was, say the 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 Italian Hollywood Dick's Italian wife was a piece of ass so and a hot. half. So What's up? Uh, if you're listening to this, can I please suck your tits? She looks like kind of like a like a young Penelope Cruz. She's got Penelope Cruz vibes for sure. Who's the one Italian, like, Antal Danzo. Also, yeah. just for a second, because I didn't watch this thing. Yeah. But how s- fucking stupid and lazy a name is the Many Saints of Newark? <laughs> yeah, Molte well, Molte Santi. Is that what many? Like, yeah, Molte yeah, Santi. Molte yeah, Santi, yeah. 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 Well, it's still dumb. It's still and also, dumb, but also, man. it's like I didn't feel like we understood that world at all. Mm. It was all felt like a flashback. Like who were who the fuck was Joey Coco Diaz? Who was that? I don't know. Like who the fuck was he at all? Like why don't we know anything about just the, some guy the that mobsters. looks like pussy? Yeah, and the, just, it was funny that they like cast some Samoan guy to yeah, play young yeah, pussy. Yeah, the guy was like clearly <laughs> like <laughs> Hindu. Yeah, they cast some like some Pacific Islander to play. I mean, I guess he did look a little bit like him, but and also just the fucking kid is so bad at acting. Uh, Gandolfini's son. Yeah, no, no, they got his real. Nah, son. They got his real son to play. I feel bad. Son. That's an impossible position to be in. Yeah, yeah it's like you're. He's the greatest actor of all time. Also, that kid, like, apparently he's like sober. He's like had demons, but like, like I as a, that's as what they call it if you use a drink. Is that I had demons? No, like, no, no. Be, but you would imagine you're being haunted by something from hell. Well, you're, you're just playing a reckless boob. Yeah, whatever. Okay, maybe I'm. I'm Especially reading a little in, kid. I'm reading yeah. into things too much, but like. You like okay. You're you're fucking chasing the ghost of your father, who played like the most fucking like and legendary yeah. uh, fucking television maybe role the, of all maybe time. Maybe the, the most. most. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, and then like you lose him when you're a little kid, and then you go into acting by playing like that's. I feel so bad for him. Totally, you know? and but that's what it feels like. Is like it's these things where you can't exactly like you can't blame that kid for trying, right? No, and then but you also and it's on some level you can't blame this feels like David Chase. This feels like when MJ put on the fucking Wizards jersey. Man, Absolutely. Where it's like he just wanted a little taste of what he used to be. Because this, it felt like the Wizards. Like, yeah, there's moments where you're like, oh, that was pretty cool. Yeah. But yeah, it's a mess. You should have played young Tony Soprano as Paul Dano. Just <laughs> mad fat. I, I, Make him get fat. He would have crushed it. He would have crushed fifteen I mean, year old been, Tony been, Soprano. It would have been weird. Yeah, he can. I mean, he's he really, looks fifteen. He looks so. fifteen. He's so. probably like forty at this mm-hmm. point. But Paul Dano's like way too old to play young. But he Soprano. looks. Yeah, but he's so, one of the. He, he used looks to like, ride the G train all the time. Well, that settles it. Yeah. So he should have been the guy. <laughs> Look! Look at him now. Of course. How old is he? Fifteen year old. He's fifty two years old. <laughs> <laughs> he's always gonna look fifteen. Yeah. That guy. But yeah, with they, I mean, every time it was a character that was for a contemporary, like a, a young version of a character, 
No one did a good job. Except, you know what? The one who played Olivia was pretty good. She was the best part she of the She was really movie. good. And you know what was really cool about it is that her performance, she sounded exactly like Carmela. And then, the, like, oh, you, like, yeah. do you marry your mother? Like, yeah, that, yeah. You oh, know, that, that was the that's, one on that's the actually, nose thing that actually, like, didn't bother And that me. had some depth to it and was yeah. actually interesting. And yeah, she played. And like, you know what I'll say? Ray Liotta's second guy, when the second placed, guy was really was good. Was really good. But, Hollywood, then, but at the same time, they should have put a Coco, It was like kind of stunt cast. Coco Cube in it. Or Coco T. Who's that? Ice T's wife. <laughs> they should have put her. <laughs> Coco T. <laughs> That's her name, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Coco, Coco T. T. She yeah. would have been good. She would have been good. Angel Olivia Soprano. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me, uh, who else? Let me cast. You tell me some other names. All right. So young. Uh, Christopher young. Walken as as it returns as Frank White. <laughs> right. Yeah, that'd be good. Sopranos, but this. And time, then why the fuck was Frank Vincent? Why in the it? fuck was Frank Vincent? In it? They or, had. To, I think they wanted to do because of twenty twenty one. They had to have like a social justice as like. Although that's not true because I remember they mentioned the Newark riots like in the flashback. Yeah, yeah. In season one, when he goes to follow his dad to the fair. Yeah, yeah. He, she's like, stay off Springfield Avenue because they're tearing it apart. So like, right. I guess they're like calling back to that. They were, but it's also like, why did we need to have? Oh no, Frank. Lucas. Frank Lucas, not Frank Vincent. What the fuck yeah. was that scene even about? It I was just know. a mess, bro. It's like, do you remember American Gangster? We got that guy in this movie too. And it's also like the one time you use a real gangster. Yeah, it's the one actually. Like, <laughs> like they never they never say like, oh fucking you know, uh, you know, whatever Vince Gigante or like they don't use real. Ga- I don't. It's just fucking bad, dude. It sucked. It sucked. Dick. It broke my heart. Yeah, honestly, I like went into it expecting nothing, and then the next day I started getting. Pissed. I'm gonna rewatch it, but I rewatched it with Racine this weekend because he hadn't seen it. Mm. But um, that's what did Mike that's think? like when you put on a movie for a baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to keep him. Yeah, you know, you just uh, just, just put him there to cross sleep. legged in a diaper, yeah, and yeah. drool coming out of his <laughs> mouth, <laughs> <laughs> just clapping with all of his fingers spread apart. Yeah, Tony. <laughs> yeah, Tony. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. You know what's funny? I actually thought the like kid who played Tony as a little kid was better. Yeah, I saw him at I. I went. I saw him at oh, the. I saw it. Adam screening. saw a little baby. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, he was there. Privately, they had a secret. You did? You had a private meetup with a baby? Yeah, I went to a private baby meetup, it sounds. Well, yeah. I mean, it's... A meetup for babies. No, I mean, there were other adult guys there. (laughs) That's sick. Adam meeting one of his friends from r slash (laughs) babies. Yeah, we had a meetup. The babies subreddit. Yeah, we we all took a selfie together for r slash baby meetup. Just for babies, and we had a meetup, and Adam showed up. (laughs) <laughs> I thought this was the place for baby dicked guys. Yeah. <laughs> Please go raid that subreddit. Is that a real thing? Babies will be like, yeah, my dick is. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought this was for small dick guys. For guys with little ass dick. Well, I would you love gotta... it if there's just hundreds of posts like that. <laughs> on the R because it's just people posting their babies oh really yeah, like, that's yeah, weird I got a baby uh, just yeah post oh. your little ass penis on this <laughs> stuff too, right? too don't cool. post your actual <laughs> dick don't post any pornography just make it seem like you earnestly thought this was the subreddit for baby dick guys now mm-hmm. that the small dick problem subreddit is privated oh is it private well they yeah. made it private because I made the mistake of trying to in good faith Read some of those posts. Oh, I remember show, that. We did and that episode. They got bombarded. <laughs> oh, fuck the cat. Yeah, and, and then derisively laugh at. Uh, oh, dude, that was a fun episode, actually. Dude, I mean that that subreddit is one of the funniest things I've ever I seen. I know. In my that was life. one of the best episodes. Those poor guys. Five seven fat thighs and a four by four hose. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, like truly, like cellar door level. That's, prosody yeah that's unbelievable uh, the, the, the way that's a, better, which, that's a better sentence than Shakespeare has ever written the way, the way that, that rolls from your soul to your tongue yeah. is 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 truly beautiful it's really nice five seven fat that's good writing four fat by four thighs <laughs> yeah. brings it all together uh-huh. five, well five seven fat thighs the, the 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 alliteration and the way in which like both words mm-hmm. sort of like they 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 what's it called in music when 
Well, I don't know the theory term. Trombagio. Nah, yeah, tromba- the trombagio of the two. <laughs> 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 well, there's that. There's what's it? Five five with brown eyes is that song. Five five short. Five 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 fat thighs. Yeah. Is there's there's five five fat. There's like a harmonic tension created. It's, it sounds really good. That's then released by then yeah. in a four foot four by four hose. Five seven fat. Thighs. Five seven fat thighs. Five seven fat thighs with a four by four hose. <laughs> What do you mean four by four? I have no Does idea. Does he mean four inches wide? Like four yeah. inches wide is a good size. That's a I crazy mean, he's fucking up cock. the walls, you know? Mm-hmm. That guy's got a little chode. Yeah, but that's he's describing a post-it note. That's yeah, not the shape true. of a dick. It's, a, it's two dimensions. Yeah, but I'm sure plenty of women would like to sit on a fat little chode and flick their mm-hmm. mean. Some uh-huh. shallow, shallow he just has to find. He just has to find the right mm-hmm. type of bitch. Yeah, shallow, shallow type of bitch. <clears throat> well, good luck to that guy. That's what that song from The Star Is Born was about, In the Shallows. Mm-hmm. It's about a, a, bitch, a bitch with, with, a, a, with a shallow pussy. Yeah, you got a small dick, and you finally found a shallow shallow type of... I love bumping up against a shallow pussy. Oh, my God. It makes me feel awesome. It makes me feel like Lexington Steel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the shallow end yeah. with my little ass dick. That song is mad good. Yeah, dude. That's a good movie. My dick is tiny, her pussy is shallow. It's a good ass movie, and fucking Andrew Dice Clay is in it. What more do you need to know? <sighs> He's a great actor. He's a good actor. He's like a crazy. He's one of the best actors. Ooh. The Dice. Dice Man, dude. Uh, oh, I'm fucking gay over here. Dude, that's the dream guest for this podcast. We yeah, Andrew get Dice Clay. Once. We gotta get him once. Gotta get the dice man. I don't think he'd roll. I don't think he'd roll. We haven't had. You know, maybe that's what was keeping the show going. Was one celebrity guest a year? We we should shoot for one. Oh yeah, we had David Cross right off the rip. Sandra Bullock, but then that kind of fell through. Wait, Sandra Bullock. Well, Well, we lost the file. I, I was like, I'm tired of your pussy, bitch. Yeah, and she was like, "Can I please do the show?" Begging on her knees, and I was like, "Bring Monster Garage back, and then we can, then we can talk." <laughs> we can I'm t- trying to talk. Then to we you. can talk about it, bitch. Really? Yeah. Unless, unless, unless I see your husband turning an ice cream truck into a fucking mm-hmm. into a disco <laughs> until it's a mobile disco teka. <laughs> Vis a vis ice cream. Mm-hmm. We should get Terrence yeah. Howard. Yeah. Ask him about his tiny ass dick. Yeah. And he's like, What are you talking about? <laughs> what my dick is in oh, Everybody knows you got a small my dick. My dick is in small. My dick is in small on black. And they're like, uh, well, All right, Terrence, let's see. Terrence. It, yeah, all right, Terrence. We all know you're lying. Well, let's go ahead and play the clip. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Don't he's do like, that. That's trick photography. The director, the director did that. He photoshopped me because I fucked his wife. Whoa. His wife, and this is me turning to the camera, Sandra Bullock. <laughs> <laughs> Would you believe it? And his wife was right. Sandra and Bullock. And that man's... Wife was Albert Einstein. <laughs> there's a teacher in class, and he says, he, uh, this, this is a very rowdy class. A professor walks in, and the students are making noise, and they pay attention to him walking in. And he picks up his computer, his laptop, and he smashes it against the blackboard. Oh my God. And there's a drop of the hat, and he's like, Oh, I got your attention. I want to tell you about a student that was in this class a couple of years ago. And uh, she wasn't. Uh, you know, she struggled to pick up the material. She was like you guys, kind of unfocused. Mm-hmm. And she thought she couldn't do it. And she came to my office. It was near the end of the semester. And she had blown her shot at getting whatever grade point average she needed to continue her scholarship here. And she said, what? Like, I don't, I just don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know if I'm capable of doing this. But, like, I, you know, how can I get a better grade? Because she's part of this entitlement generation. That That's that, right. Now, if you just show up that you deserve an A, well, that's not how it works. And I started a relationship with her. (laughs) And I was having sex with her, and she got her A, and I got mine's. And that girl's name 
with Sandra Bullock. <laughs> <laughs> just, just lying. Just bragging to kids. That you raped <laughs> that you're Sandra, Sandra Bullock, Bullock when she was a child. <laughs> but the professor at the end is like turning to a camera. <laughs> 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 He's like, okay, today's lesson where oh, I f- I destroyed my laptop. <laughs> Class dismissed. Class dismissed. But I think we all learned an important lesson, <laughs> which is that I fucked Sandra. Which Bullock. is that I fucked Sandra Bullock as a child yeah. as a quid pro quo for an A mm-hmm. to give her an A. Damn. Well, that's an interesting story about Sandra Bullock, everyone. And uh, enjoy that. Enjoy your week. Come see me in Cleveland this tomorrow. Check out cum.town. And check out the Patreon to hear the rest of the conversation that led up to this yeah, one. You might want to skip that. I made a couple works mistakes. Is there's a lot of stuff that's not funny to you. If you listen to this, you're like, the show is now just evolved into, quote unquote, so random comedy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's and it's being done sincerely rather than ironically. Yeah. And it's it's uh now it's just as bad as everything that uh Adam stood against when he created the show. Right. When That's true. Adam's, executive producer and creator yeah. Adam, Adam I've become Lander. what I hated most. <laughs> Adam's creative vision for the show when mm-hmm. he started the show the first season before me and Stav joined after. Right. After uh, Tony Braxton and... Uh, <sighs> Lance Reddick. <laughs> <the show. laughs> Lance Redding. <laughs> yeah. Yep. It was Adam, Tony Braxton, and Lance Redding. Yeah, it was the original cast. Yeah. How yeah. many episodes did you guys do? We, we called ourselves the Not Ready for Primetime Players. How many episodes did you guys do? It's about, mm-hmm. I think we did three seasons. Mm-hmm. Three seasons. Yeah, 150 episodes each season. <laughs> yeah. That's so much more. Yeah. And we had a much <laughs> bigger audience. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lance Reddick is like, you know, he's like, what if Dennis Blunden from Head of the Class was gay? <laughs> I wonder how that would go. <laughs> Tony Brax is just singing yeah. her own songs with Dick in them. <laughs> yeah, she's with, but it's gay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Unsuck my dick. Yeah, that was actually a Tony original. Unsuck my dick. <laughs> Say I'm not gay again. All right, wow, damn, we did way too much. Did we? Oh, well, we'll take th- this. Yeah. We'll do this the next two. We'll be sh- shorter. A 30 minute episode next week. All right, bye. I can't believe it. We got to have a timer. This can't happen. I'll again. set a timer from now on. All right, bye.